Hello guys and welcome to another Call of Duty review with me Tom from the SS Motion. So today we're taking a look at a rather large set uh, within the £10 price point which is the Call of Duty Collector's Construction Sets Repel Fighter. This is set number 06865. It is for ages 10 and up and includes 62 pieces and retails for approximately £10 here in the UK. Now to start with this set we're actually going to show you the main feature which is, as you can see if I raise the camera, the figure is suspended. Now this is very cool. And the way this is achieved is if we remove the grapple hook, you can see that the figure has a small point which he holds onto, and he also has a small clip on his belt. Let's see if we can get that to focus for you guys. Where the rope attaches, and that stops him from falling. And the result is, if we can peg that into place, a suspended figure, which looks amazing. So, that is the main thing I wanted to cover at the start of this video, because it is an absolutely awesome feature, and something which I really like. If we remove the rope quickly, we'll take a quick look at it. So you can see it's just your normal rope piece with a grip and then a nice grappling hook to the end of it so that's very cool indeed now before we take a look at the figure we're going to take a look at two accessories included one gun and another very cool brand new accessory to the Call of Duty line so firstly we have the character's suppressed submachine gun this is a very cool accessory the silencer is removable and it's just a very cool um, weapon to have another one of and the clips removable obviously and like all the other guns in the Call of Duty line it is modular now the second accessory is something which we have seen in Halo before in sets like the Elephant and Countdown as far as I'm aware but we have not seen in Call of Duty and that is these wire cutters and these are a very nice accessory, there's a tab in the back so you can attach them to things like a backpack as seen here and they just make for a very nice display piece and something which I'm excited to see more of because you can set up some really cool displays with your characters say cutting barbed wire um, just carrying them into position and it really adds a lot more to the lighting because it shows that you don't just have to pose your figures shooting all the time, you can have them doing other things that military personnel would do. So enough of the accessories, we're going to look at the figure now. And this figure is from Call of Duty Ghosts. And it is, although not officially mentioned on the box, most likely modelled after Keegan, as Keegan is the one most frequently seen with night vision goggles and a helmet. So... Taking a look at him, we can see a metallic blue strap with a grey ammo pouch and a grey tactical vest with a silver concussion grenade. That attachment point for the rope there and a metallic blue backpack with the wire cutters attached. So something very cool that I do want to mention is this guy uses the same, there goes his leg, just quickly. This guy uses the same shoulder pads. Is that going to focus for you guys? As the Juggernaut, which is a very nice touch. And it makes for a very tactical, cool looking figure. There we go. So as you can see that. And this is just a very nice figure. I'm glad to have more ghosts. And even though Ghosts has been and gone and we've got Advanced Warfare coming out next, I definitely want more like Merrick. I think they're very cool figures to have and they make for awesome display pieces. So, moving on to the structure. We're going to try and show you it, but I may end up having to lift up the camera since it's so tall. But here's the ground floor. We have a desert style base plate, a glass pane, two struts. Second floor, red light, base plate, Two struts, another glass pane. Moving the camera up now. Third floor, glass pane, two struts and a light. And fourth floor, we have two large antennae, 
and several almost banisters and different details as well as a grate on the top here. Now the structure itself is very nice. If I zoom out a bit to give you a sense of scale, there you can see it's a very nice structure. And I'm just glad that we got it in Mega Bloks form. I mean, with the Halo line, one of my gripes is that we've not seen much in the way of structure. But with this line, we have. And I think Mega are definitely giving this line their all. And what it's given us is some very, very cool toys. So that's it for this review, guys. Um, it's been a review on the Repel Fighters. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really like this set and I would recommend you get it. Uh, please like, favourite and subscribe. And if you enjoy these Call of Duty videos, comment below with ideas for other things. There's, I don't just want to do reviews for you guys anymore. I want to do ideas videos. I want to do other things. So if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see me cover, feel free to comment them. And who knows, maybe I'll use your idea in a future video. So that's it for now, guys. This has been Tom with the SS Motion signing off. Hope you guys have a great week.